Hello, YouTubers. Well, on the previous video, I had a comment that I've had on other previous videos. Um, William, Bill, um, made the suggestion that it would be nice to have something to draw on the screen with. Probably to highlight the things I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, I know. Um, I've thought about looking into screen annotation software. Screen annotation is what it's called. Um, I knew that there was something out there for Linux. There had to be. I just never really looked into it. I've often in the past just kind of cheated by using a, a still of the uh, screen, pulling it into GIMP, and then just drawing on it. And uh, come to think of it, you know, it would be better to have some kind of an easy on-screen annotation program. So I went looking. And under Linux, there's a few options, but the most popular appears to be uh, something called Gromit MPX. Once you've got it installed, uh, it's really easy to work with. Let's go to the computer and I'll show you how it works. All right, so first off, Gromit MPX, we need to install it on our system. Now, this is the GitHub page, so if you're real hardcore and you want to build it from source, you can go and get the most current version here. And, uh, of course, this link will be in the video description as usual. Um, there'll be uh, several links in the video description, all these web pages. Um, there's another website that I've never talked about, which I've only recently discovered. It's called itsfoss.com. And this is a great site because they have, like, wiki pages for all the different, um, many of the different applications, and including a page here for Gromit MPX, which is an excellent source, uh, a resource. I mean, it tells you all about the program. It tells you what it stands for, how it, how it, how it works, how you can use it. It's, a, it's an excellent page. And again, this link will be in the description. Uh, finally, there's also a flat pack, and there's probably also a snap if you uh, prefer to install your software with flat packs and snap and use a huge amount more of disk space and resources. You can go that route. I prefer to install the app directly. Now, if you're running a Debian based um, Linux distribution, Mint, Cinnamon, um, Ubuntu, any of those, uh, and several others, you can use Aptitude to install it. Um, you can open up a terminal and you can uh, type in uh, sudo apt install uh, and I think it's gromit dash mpx. Uh, I prefer to use uh, Synaptic Package Manager which is my favorite way to install software and I've said this before but let's, uh, let's uh, look for gromit. And there we go. Gromit MPX is the one that I've installed. Um, but the reason I like Synaptic is if you go to install things here, it'll tell you about dependencies and, and, and install those automatically. And you can get more information about things uh, by clicking on any, in, any package in the list. You'll get, a, you'll get a paragraph or more about what it is. So handy way to put things in. Uh, so anyway, that's the two ways you can install it if you're running a Debian-based um, installation. After you've got it installed and you run it, it should be on your menu system. I've got it on, on the Mate desktop here. And uh, you can, well, I don't know how you do it with GNOME. It's probably similar, but if I hit the super key, I can just type in something, Gromit MPX, and there it is, and I could hit enter and, and run it. I've already got it running, though. It has a menu up here. You can see this little icon up here in the uh, menu bar. Uh, it'll... Oh, and Gromit MPX supports um, all these different types of panels and menu bars and different desktops for like GNOME or KDE uh, or uh, uh, XFCE, any of those desktops. It supports the little menu option up here. And you can actually operate the program from this menu, which is useful if you were running an application that grabbed the shortcut key. You could use the menu to toggle painting on and off. And when you toggle painting on, it basically allows you to draw on the screen. And this is a transparent layer over the screen. But then I can erase that, clear it. I can um, draw more stuff. I can undo 
If I draw more than one thing, I can undo, oh, is it Shift F10? Let me do that again. I gotta learn the shortcuts. Shift F10, no. What is it? It tells you on the menu. Let me pop out of painting mode. Clear screen is Shift F9. Undo is F10. So F10 would undo the last thing I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's nice too. Um, the menu up here shows you the shortcut keys, gives you some options, but you can also toggle things on and off here. So if a program grabs your function key F9, you can just come up here and click to enter drawing mode and uh, the, cur the mouse pointer changes to a little crosshair and then you can draw. For example, in the past I have used GQR, yeah, GQRX, and I've talked about things like I might want to say, oh, look at that, that was a DRM transmission. Well, now I could just F9 and look at that right there. So that's going to be very handy for um, annotating when I'm doing things uh, for the videos, which is what led to this in the first place. I think, uh, well, let me, uh, let me show you. So in the previous video, um, or I was talking about spectral editing and audacity. And I was talking about the car horn and uh, how you had so many bars of energy. And I think that that's what led to William leaving his comment because he probably couldn't uh, see what I was seeing in the waterfall. So with Gromit, I would be able to just say, go into draw mode and say, this is the car horn here. And each of these little lines that you see is a different overtone or harmonic or bass tone for that sound. So real handy for pointing things out on screen. If you're a video producer, you might find this quite useful. Um, if you're using Linux uh, to project slides for a classroom situation, it would be handy to be able to annotate. So uh, yeah, that's how Gromit MPX works. It's real easy and uh, potentially quite useful. And remember I was saying that uh, Gromit supports all desktop environments? Well, there it is here on the It's FOSS page, right here. It supports all desktop environments such as GNOME, KDE, XFCE, both X11 and Wayland, which are two different uh, uh, window managers. So it, it supports pretty much everything. That is Gromit MPX a handy little screen annotating program that now that I've got it and learning how to use it, I'll be using it in the future on future videos. So there you go, Gromit-MPX, uh, pretty easy to use uh, screen annotation program, which I'll be using going forward. So in future videos, when I'm showing you something in Audacity or some other software, uh, I'll be able to just simply draw on the screen. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this a long time ago. I just never got around to it. <laughs> Um, and, uh, oh yeah, Nora's back there, the binaural head mic. I've uh, had her out. I've been uh, doing a little recording. And I'll leave you with uh, a little time lapse of the clouds and the sound of rain on the roof of the RV. This is what it sounds like inside an RV when it's raining. Hope you have found this uh, grommet video useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.